I decided to just offer my services to other dogs if they needed that. And sure enough, they needed me in about a, in August of uh, 2015. I did my first real transport. And he said, well, my lab is a military lab and it's gonna come out of the service. And he said, I get first rights on it. And because I worked with a girlfriend that rescues German Shepherds and I ship them to her, I just said, without thinking, do you want me to be at your dog? Andrew was Marine and Boone was now at an army base, but I didn't understand how that happened, but that wasn't for me at the moment to understand. I just said, I'll get your dog. I thought, well, maybe this dog will like me enough to go in the cabin with me, so maybe I better go meet him. So that's what I did in June 2015. I traveled myself to Fort Leonard Wood and got to go meet Boone in person and just fell in love with him. I was able to send Andrew video that he was fine and well and loved and happy. And whenever they told me he was gonna come out, I was gonna go get him. Master, maybe there's need for me to help other dogs do this because a lot of times the military guys will get out but it the dog's not ready and then this just with no cost to them this helps them I think uh, growing up with a military family and the respect for my military as well I'm a flight attendant and I know that my freedom is not free but I know that there's so many sacrifices and a lot of my fellow flight attendants, they've lost brothers and sisters in the war that's continuing ongoing, or they've lost earlier family members. I lost my uncle that I never met, who was shot down. And I thought, I love my Labradors. And if I can combine the two things, and I also work with my girlfriend for rescue, I thought, why not? It's a win-win for me. The Army called me in March of 2016 and said, Molly, have Gus, can you go get him and fly him to Seattle? And I said, yes, I can. Then I would contact the handler once the Army had given me his contact. And I'd say, I'm your little guardian angel because I'm gonna fly the dog to you. What is interesting about Gus, he had a couple handlers other than Michael, but the handlers decided on the pecking order who was gonna take Gus. And Michael was chosen and because he was the latest handler of us. And it just, it was the right choice. He had post-traumatic stress as a dog. He was near an IED explosion during his time when he was deployed. And obviously there was some residue in his life about that. <laughs> 